I'm sorry that I'm like literally glowing. <laughs> Good morning. Actually, I get to go see my sponsor today. I'm going to have lunch with Tracy Thompson Parker. She's my sponsor. She lives about 35 minutes away from me, which is so funny because when I first met Tracy, I lived in New York State and she lived in California. And then when I moved to California, I just randomly happened to move 30 minutes away from her. And one day she was like, hey, I think we live nearby each other. And we figured out we did and we started having lunch. She was like, oh, I just started this posh stuff. Do you wanna try it? And I was like, no, no thanks. She was like, it's such good hand cream. And I was like, okay, it's nice. Keep it moving. And then she was like, you know, I could give you some samples. I was like, oh honey, save your free samples. I'm not interested. Cause guys, I am a little bit of a snob when it comes to my personal care products. I shop at Sephora and Aveda and I didn't want her free samples. <laughs> I literally told her no, like more than one time. And then I randomly ended up attending a home party for my other friend because she was like, come, I'm gonna have wine and cheese. And I didn't even know what company it was. I was like, whatever, I'll come have some wine and cheese. I'll support you. Turns out it was a posh party with a completely different consultant. And so when I got there, I was like, oh God, this posh stuff again. But I participated, I washed my face with BFF, I did a face mask, it was nice, la la la. But I loved the night and day moisturizer. It brought me back to like a facial that I had when I was a teenager, cause my mom, we, I didn't grow up with a lot of money, but my mom would save, she sewed um, bridesmaids dresses and sometimes wedding dresses she was quite the seamstress to make extra money and then she would always make it a point to take me on my birthday to go get a facial so that's I guess probably why I love facials so much so anyway when I had the night and day moisturizer it brought me right back to one of my most favorite facial experiences have you ever had that where you have a smell and it just transports you right back to a time in your past well that's what happened so I ordered the night and day and I ordered a gender bender just to support my friend I told the consultant lady I already have a posh consultant never mind that I've ignored all of her samples but I already have a posh consultant because Tracy was never pushy she was consistent but never pushy so anyway my night and day came in my gender bender came in I put the gender bender in the shower and you guys my boyfriend you see him once in a blue moon he is a mountain man I swear he was raised by wolves he doesn't care what he uses in the shower. He does shower like two times a day, but whatever, blah, 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 blah. He gets out of the shower and he's like, hey babe, where'd that awesome soap come from? And I was like, what? You think a soap is awesome? Like you don't talk about shower stuff. So that really kind of perked my interest. Plus I loved my night and day. So then I told Tracy, okay, listen, tell me when they have a deal for the kit. And you guys know we very rarely have deals for the kit. Well, it was December, 2014. December 2014, the last four days of the year. It was like the 27th. And they did a special where you got all of the foot products in addition to the kit for the same $99. So I was like, okay, sign me up. But promise I never have to sell $1 because I am not selling this shit. I just want it for a deal. I'm telling you, I was not a dream recruit at all. Refuse samples, refuse samples, refuse samples. And then I told her I was gonna sign up when there was a deal. I told her this in September. There was not a deal until the end of December and Lord knows I stuck to my guns. I was not signing up whether she needed me for monthly award or not. Finally signed up, the kit came and literally sat on my counter for two weeks. And then she was like, you know, there's a chance you could earn some free stuff if you hit these goals. And I was like, what, free, what, free, free? <laughs> and before I started Posh Guys, I was an extreme couponer. I do love myself a deal. So, anyway, I know, super snob with my personal care products, extreme couponer, I am a weird one, but that's here nor there. So she told me about the props opportunity and that got me excited. And so I was like, okay, fine. I will try to work this stupid direct sales business for 90 days to try to earn this free stuff and then I'm done. So I bribed my friend to sign up so that I could hit my 60 day props because I still didn't have a recruit. And Lord knows I knew I was never going to get a recruit. Um, so I got her, I started having some parties, I posted on like local garage sale sites or whatever, free samples, like I was just going crazy because I was like, I have no friends, so I have to do this on the internet. 
Well, long story short, I ended up hitting my 60 day props. That motivated me and so that's when I started to make videos on my business page and then I couldn't tell how many people were watching my videos. So I was like, oh, when I put videos on YouTube, it tells me how many views there are. That's what made me start on YouTube. It wasn't like I was like, oh, this is the best marketing ever. If I had known then what I know now, Lord, I would have been cranking out the YouTube videos like it was my job. But here nor there, that's how I came to be posh. And I don't even know how I got spiraled into this story, but we are having lunch today, so I'm really excited. It's kind of a good story, right? It's so crazy to me. And um, like when I joined, Tracy was like, mm, I don't know if this posh stuff is really you know, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Cause remember she first was excited and talking to me about it, like in the summertime and then early fall. And then by the time I joined, it was December. And so her business maybe wasn't kicking butt or whatever. Can anybody relate to that? And then all of a sudden I was like, no, you can't quit. We're going to do this together. And I like breathe new life into her business too. So if you are feeling like your business is kind of stalling or maybe you're just not cut out for this, first of all, you're wrong. Second of all, all that it takes is finding one new excited team member. One new excited team member brings new life into your business like nobody's business. It's true. And this is why I focus on recruiting all of the time because it literally takes one excited person. I mean, Valerie's story, the video that she posted on the team page today, that made me re-excited. My bedroom is air conditioned, but I got so excited telling the story, I'm like sweating now. You guys, Posh, it's so crazy. Like like I said, when I started, I literally would not have joined if Tracy told me I had to sell $1 of Posh. I would not have joined. Who knows what I would be, I'd still be laying awake at night thinking, what coupons do I need tomorrow? I used to leave my house at 5.30 in the morning so that I could be at whatever store was opening first so I could use my pile of coupons to get the deal. I used to have crazy stockpiles. I mean, not like hoarder style, but it was pretty extreme. Anyway, I would not have joined if she told me I had to sell a dollar worth of posh and now I'm a platinum premiere. How insane is that? That right there tells you not to prejudge anybody and not to give up on anybody. No means not right now. It does not mean never. I promise. I get really excited. <laughs> I'm really excited and Dominican Republic, baby, who's coming with me? Because I am definitely going. I have been on the last five incentive trips. Yeah, remember the girl that never wanted to sell $1 worth of posh? I've never missed an incentive trip. And I was number one in one of them. I can't even believe it, and I did it. It's crazy. You can do it too. All that it takes is total commitment. Total commitment. You've got to commit your time. You've got to commit your mind. Your mind is the most important. You have to believe that you can do it. And guess what? You're going to stumble along the way. It's inevitable. If you didn't stumble, then you wouldn't be human. You're going to stumble along the way, but as long as you get back up and keep going, you fail forward. All right, guys, have a great day, and I will talk to you soon. This is how I live my life, guys. That's my bed. There's a TV at the end. And that's my water cooler. And this is not my side of the room, I'm just saying. This is how he lives his life. This is how I live my life. And we each need a fan. Welcome to my bedroom. <laughs>